My name is Ken, and we are the San Jose State Spartans from San Jose, California, and we are all second years. My name is Ken, and this was built in coordination with my colleagues, Kevin and Patrick. And we're trying to participate in the 2018 Aqua Rock Contest. Previous year's winner, University of Minnesota, had built their rocket, or more of a dart, with expensive materials. And we wanted to go with hobby style rockets, which were affordable for everyone. And this type of layout would have the launcher on the ground and the rocket housing the fuel. And it could be customized with uh, unique nozzles. We had considered multi-stage rockets, but it was deemed too many variables and too many parts and too many modes of failure. So we decided to keep it with one chamber, one plastic bottle. Our inspiration pulled from NASA's 80s aerospike engine, which is an altitude compensating engine, which is performing its best at all altitudes. The advantages of our design is it's affordable, cheap, modular, and simple, as we wanted others to also pick up on the design and improve it if possible. The disadvantages of our design is it's 3D printer required, it might have possible pressurization problems, and it's untested, as this design has never been tried before. These are our designs, and we had eventually come to the two rows at the end, which we had finalized and improved upon. Inspired from a conventional cable tie, we decided to go with MM063's design, as his design had fewer parts and had a horizontal locking, locking system but we decided to cut it down to vertical as it required less parts uh, and less filament, which meant less time, which is how we cut out the extra part on top of the locking pin, which helped cut down the 3D printing time. We had also decided to add a modular canister for swapping out canisters as it was easier to swap out canisters if a canister had failed or if you wanted a quick reloading uh, if you wanted to quickly launch one succession after another. And the threading can be customized on the hub and on the canister in the CAD, because it's CAD, so you can do it to any parameters you wish. And I'd like to thank these channels. All right, we've gone to the demonstration part of the video, and this let's begin. These two, or these three, are, are our first prints, which were all out of place. This was totally misprinted. This one was good, but the supports were all uh, messing up the thread, so we couldn't get the threading correctly. And this one was just too large overall. And our second generation, we printed at a slower speed, which would help us to control the quality, uh, but it wasn't enough as it was too small for all the water balls we had tried. And this is a typical thread which we would use. So this is our second generation, which we had corrected all the threading problems and all the misprints so we slowed them all down we corrected the we found the proper dimensions and that's what we got and this is our final third generation this is our first generation hub where the locking pins would go in and they'd lock the lock the bottle this one does not include a thread hole so it's not compatible with additional things such as a bottle so for a second generation, we added a hole at the bottom where we can add a small Alka-Seltzer canister in the bottom where we put Alka-Seltzer itself into here preloaded by hand, or we can put an additional bottle if the situation calls for it. And such a hole can be changed modularly either through the same threading as this or enlarged capsules for additional volume for um, additional Alka-Seltzer. And this is where the nozzle would sit within. There's a small ridge that keeps it from falling in. And there will be seals such as like this one, which will be sitting inside. This is how the final demonstration should work. So it is pressurized, which pulls, puts pressure and it doesn't come easily off. Once this latch is pulled off, it simply rotates 
and it comes right off. And it does the nozzle what it does. Thank you. Thank you for watching our submission. If you enjoyed or was even vaguely interested in our video, please give it a vote. And good luck to the other teams in our competition. Thank you.